Hello and welcome to another smoke tutorial, this time covering the basic smokes of Dust2. So straight into it, starting off onto the CT side, you have probably the most basic and important smoke of the side which is covering the double doors. This can be done quickly by throwing it off the box or off the wall and then just crossing. The box one is probably the most used as it allows your AWP to peek middle fast if they want to while doing the same job of covering you and not allowing the T AWP to count how many cross. Again off CT spawn if you want to do a tactic where you push through the doors to lower tunnels you can either just throw it off the wall and wait or just throw it through the gap in the doors instead. Usually though the terrorist orb will call that the smoke is deep and that somebody is probably pushing lower tunnels if he has a brain. If you are playing the rotator roller A then you should usually be throwing this smoke to stop a rush at long just getting yourself stuck on the door and aiming to the left of the sun. Obviously the faster you can do this the better. This is going to be needed most rounds to stop the initial push just so somebody in your team can get into pit. Moving over to the T side, smoking down mid to double doors is super simple, just throwing it while aiming at the right end of the door so it bounces correctly. If you want to do a B rush, or maybe this is even better for a late push, you can throw a smoke off the wall which will then cover the site and window. You've still got quite a few places to worry about such as platform, door or anyone close at the car. You can cover platform by having someone else throw one like this and then you could basically just charge it with flashes and probably have someone smoke door and so on. A smoke everybody knows, the good old B split mid smoke, aiming at the window and throwing very self explanatory. Always need to worry about somebody jumping up here though because so many people get caught out by it. Usually everybody just kind of runs up B and if you have someone watching the smoke at doors to hold the push through middle he's not really going to be able to see this guy. Moving over to smoking long, smoking in the corner so you don't get killed instantly when walking out the door. This needs to be done by the first or second person really, usually the second person and then he also follows up with flashes. So when you're running from spawn you stop where this dirt starts, it's easy to see and then you kind of just need to stand to the left as well so you don't block maybe the third guy who's pushing as well and then aim at the middle of the left door and jump and throw. Mine hit the little ledge thing here but it doesn't really matter, it's always going to hit the wall or that area regardless. A good tactic to use with this smoke is to push out fast and have your team constantly flash long and then the first guy kind of runs with his back face to long so he gets into pit fast and then he can peek long straight after while they're running back flashed. And lastly the smokes to cover the CT cross when trying to push a site, something that surprisingly goes wrong a lot with big gaps or people just not doing it. It's just as simple as throwing it correctly off this wall while running. When doing this smoke you obviously give the CTs a chance to push up close into the corner and boost up the site as well or just push through the smoke and kill you pushing long. So you could always just smoke deeper, it's really just a situational call. To do this you just need to aim at the air conditioning unit and then run forward and jump and throw. This will then do a couple of bounces and smoke deep at CT. That's all in this video, some smokes are just too basic to show especially on the CT side like ones in B tunnels. Uh, the next one will be the extra and situational smokes on this map which should be more interesting to you as you may not know them. So I'll be trying to get that out within the next two days. Goodbye.